This is London calling in the overseas service of the British Broadcasting Corporation. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. Pocket battleship, Graf Spee, which has been for many weeks preying upon the trade of the South Atlantic, and met her doom. Mother dear, I'm riding you from somewhere in France, hoping this finds you well. We shall fight in France, we shall fight on the seas and oceans, we shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall never surrender. of the RAF with the Navy. And Rodney, which did some pretty work with her 16-inch guns. Ah, this is not the end. Uh, it is not even the beginning of the end. Uh, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. <laughs> but the Japanese high command had declared that a state of war existed with Great Britain and the United States. The German Navy, so proudly built up by that smug strategical genius, the Führer, is slowly but surely being wiped out. Now the Scharnhorst, the 26,000-ton battleship, has gone to the bottom not unusual result of action against the Royal Navy. Led by a powerful British escort, the main body of the surrendered Italian fleet is transferred from Malta to Alexandria. Signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe to the Allied Expeditionary Force. the China Sea for the last large-scale surrender at Hong Kong, where today warships of the Royal Navy ride at anchor in the harbor. Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I am still alive. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Um, yeah, taking a, taking a couple of weeks break uh, from streaming, um, just had other things on my plate that kind of need to be dealt with, and uh, so streaming just being one of those things I can kind of 
put down and uh, to deal with other things is uh, unfortunately the thing that kind of gives. Um, so yes, we, we are back. Uh, fingers crossed we can keep this up again. Uh, but uh, but next time I'll give you all in fair warn, I guess I could say. Anyway, I'd like to say hello and welcome to Kriv, New Type Commander. Tottenham Hotspur, Jeff Dave, I am Cesarian, good lord, we have a very busy chat on a, on a Sunday evening, I guess it is the weekend after all. Anyway, those of you who are long-time subscribers and long-time watchers of the live streams will know I have a dodgy internet and it will drop out occasionally and sometimes the quality of the stream will go right down the pan. Good news, we have um, a new fibre optic line being uh, laid to the uh, Major's property in due course and we shall have a new internet provider <laughs> who, uh, well hopefully that should bypass the issues that we've been having because uh, it's a completely new line and therefore uh, should be uh, more seamless, more normal streaming in the future, yes, <laughs> Major gets a new job, Major gets a new internet, finally. <laughs> Well, without much further ado, let's crack on with the shipping. So, as always, if you want to play alongside as part of the Silent Support Division, feel free to shout out and I can drop you an invite as we go along. Uh, furthermore, if there's any requests, any ships you want me to play, fail at, do well at, I mean, for let's be honest, uh, usually it's fail at, I am your slightly above average potato, I guess you could say, then feel free to request them in the chat. Now, let's crack on with the Leander. So, how's everyone been? Hope you're all well. Hope you've had a nice couple of weeks. And it, it's Easter. It's Easter shortly for, for us in the UK. We have a four-day weekend um, next weekend, which would be quite nice, I'm sure. And that would be nice relaxing. And then uh, for, for a lot of people, um, well, I guess the kids are home, isn't it? Two weeks off for them. Anyway, first game, Tier 5. It's not a Leander, it's an Exeter, I lied. Anyway, North, Domination, Skane, Kid, Ramat, Aoba, Zara, Ismail Fuso, Gnaza, Colorado, and of course I get the hiccups. Anyway, Tier 5 in 6 game. Oh, I guess we're going to play the Bradford cap. Hopefully I have unmuted the microphone. Yes, I do believe so. <laughs> uh, this controller is not responding. That's not good. Okay, panic. Why is that not happening? Okay. Try again. There we go. Controller's working now. Right, panic over. Swing this over to port and uh, see what happens over at Bravo. Unfortunately, we don't have to destroy back and stuff, so we've got no spotting. Uh, Duke Dost and Bayern. No carriers in this game either. Okay, okay. Enemy Fuso spotted. Okay. Uh, do you have the Caprice? Of course I have the Caprice. It's <coughs> British. <laughs> yeah, if, if you want me to play that. I've, I've played it a few times on the stream. I don't mind it. Uh, Tottenham uh, to, to, to Hospital off to a cracking start, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, the dangers of streaming, isn't it? <laughs> I've done it before where I've, I've launched streams without... Unmuting my microphone. Oh no, please don't go for I've done it where I played games uh, without leaving office mode. <laughs> and I've also had it where the first game in the stream is me getting absolutely dev struck. Which didn't happen this time. Good news. <laughs> uh, why turrets out of action? But I don't see any point in me actively um, fixing that. I think it's the wrong Marines and Y turret normally. Or was it B turret? I can't remember. I hope I'm just booting up, so if you uh, need site support, don't hesitate to send me an invite. I'll send you an invite, Kriv. Mm. Oh, okay. And the Aoba is refusing to swing out, which is very interesting because the Aoba's told me it's kind of like rearward facing. So it's quite difficult for an Aoba to to turn out, chuck those torpedoes and kite out. Or she could just suck up a torpedo, nice. <laughs> okay, there's definitely a destroyer located in there. I'm gonna put Lisa on, there's a Zara. So I'm smoke screen and there's a destroyer kicking around as well. Or is it the Zara in the game? It could be the Zara capping. Yeah, it is the Zara capping. Okay. Uh, I clicked the road the wrong way. Let's get 
Not right over round. Come on. She's been lost slightly. Oh, okay, back to HE. Just gotta watch the middle middle with those battleships being located there. Uh they will get quite a vicious crossfire into Bravo as they push up. So would have appreciated if perhaps uh, our battleships pushed down a little bit more, you know, increase their area of nullification. But I don't know. The beggars can't be choosers. So we'll just chuck the HE out. Let's get in round behind this island. Because I think this island might be our saving grace. Especially with the Gneisner. now. Gneis now charging up, that's quite interesting. Colorado, that's taking its time. Now I think we're going to go for a bit of a tactical beach in here. Pusa right there too. We'll do, we'll just knock the engines off and we'll just do a bit of capping. What I'm doing, let's catch up with the chat. Uh, Jeff Dave, I like the Caprice myself, but would be interested to see how you set it up. Okay, will do, will do. Stickmaster, hello, hello, hello. So I have all four Royal Navy camos, and since Legends developers removed historical camos from the store, could people still get the white and gold Navy permanent skins? Uh, ooh, that's very interesting. That might be a question for the wider uh, wider community. Oh, it's actually critical. No, the Victorian camos are unobtainable for now. That is a shame. That really is a shame. Oh no, I'm going to do a war guard. I'm going to drive out the cat. Oh. I got a bit greedy for damage. All right, let's just tuck it back in. There's this there's this there's a park up here. This I'm just focusing on the camera. Um as are the Golden Eagle cameras for the Florida and Kansas. The Golden Eagle cameras for the Florida and Kansas have a potential well they're event camos, aren't they? Because they're for uh, Independence Day. So the chances are those might come round again every Independence Day. A bit like the uh the slightly different shade of green on the Collingwood every Patrick's Day. Okay, Zara. Not fun capping, but it's a necessary chore. Okay, after this, we'll uh, we'll get crew folded in and we'll get the uh, the Caprice launched. If anyone else wants to join in the Silent Support Division, feel free to shout out and any other requests. Um, shout out as well, and I'll do my best to try and oblige. Ah, finally, we've done the capping bit. Okay, can I now charging up? Fuso possibly gone around. Oh no. No, not the Fuso. That's the Ismail. So, so, so that's the Colorado. That's the Ismail? Yeah, there you go. I'm not really sure what to do here. So, at the moment, all I've done is just reverse up and, uh, and go back forwards again. Um, because of my indecisiveness. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to get some flanking shots on the Gnaiz Tower. At the moment, the cap is probably the only thing that's keeping us in the game. The Rebel Destroyer has pushed up to the Alpha. I'm just wary of the Fuso. Okay. Let's see if we can do some side work on the. Yeah, I can't touch the. Oh, can I breach the kid? Someone was able to clip. Kid. Really got to be wary of the. I 
beating us is going to be defeat from the jewels of victory. Oh. Well. Tea and cake all deaf. Deaf, please. <laughs> oh, how glorious a deaf. That, that's the question. Yeah, there's no way we can pull this out of the bag. I, I don't think we can get a solar warrior. Might be able to... If I can't touch you, you can't touch me. Go on, A, B turrets. Let's get around. Let's get that Colorado up about, please. You little beggar. Right, right turret. Royal Marines and Council on you. Thank you. Alright, uh, swing it around for the Zara. She's the 8 inch cruiser. Hasn't switched to AP, I don't know. Um, it's kind of an interesting choice. Yeah, they DP. This is the DPM piece destroys just too much. Next, it just doesn't have the DPM to pump out against that. to good lord ah, okay sigmaster well i feel quite honored uh to have uh gotten them a long time ago the as oh okay that's i think that's regarding the royal navy cameras um yeah we tried our best right with that i'm going to quickly switch to an office mode i'm going to get crib folded into the division and i'm going to quickly catch up with the chat but if anyone else is floating around for a bit of um uh site support uh, feel free to shout out actually we've got a crate here i'm just going to open up that it's just the commander crate nothing special okay it's a dewey yay oh crib's already here good lord crib you must have been ready and waiting all right i hope you're happy just to wait crib but it will be a tier seven uh, Crib, only the Arctic camo is left in the store now. Uh, they are in the four to five k steel each, and in my opinion, are honestly not worth it. <laughs> five thousand steel. <laughs> uh, yeah, we get that ship ready in the background. Actually, I, before we launch, though, I will uh, show the commander and, and the ship build and things like that because the Caprice is quite interesting. She's got quite a few different. Um, uh, consumable she needs. Uh, new type, uh, which is pricey for grade four, uh, growth, grade four camos. And uh, that being said, I would not mind uh, forking out less steel for uh, graded camos. Yeah, that's fair. Sigmaster, uh, yes, that should be at least 1,000 steel. Glad I've got the Edinburgh Ice skin for free. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> same. Um, if someone is missing it during the Planet Crash event, April's Fool, uh, April Fool's, 
Uh, two ships will be obtained, Tier 6 Pan-European DD Achilles and Tier 4 Soviet cruiser Mikoyan. Achilles is exclusive to Legends, based in Neoland, and Mikion oh, I changed that. Is another Kirov class. Oh, for God, another one. What's that like? That must be like the fifth one. <laughs> uh, Achilles will be uh, for space currency, um, Mikey Yan. Um, you have to complete space events and hardest difficulty at Circle 5, just like in the Halloween event. Oh, okay. So, it's you, boy. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Um. I think, was, was it Jeff? I believe it was Jeff who requested. Um, it's the Caprice. Um, command build, it's my typical Bane build. Um, it's my HP build. Um, it's more, probably not really applicable for this ship. You probably could use like a more unique build, um, but I just use a generic build. So this is my generic British destroyer build, which is all about HP, um, keeping that maneuverability, reducing that incoming damage, reduce reduce ability, um, reduce incoming dam uh, incoming damage, but um, also reduces TLP detectability range, which is one that's not an interesting skill. And then also it gives me that hunter killer RD, uh, RDF, that direction to the nearest ship. Smoke in the water for smoke screen, especially British smoke screens, they're short. And I prefer unstoppable over rather than torching because as a as a potential hunter killer destroyer, I don't want to be reducing my HG shield with damage. Um, so I want to be keeping that. And um, the interesting one about unstoppable is it kind of does double stack with quick fix. So it just give you... Um, and even even quicker engine repair and even more maneuverability when you lose your engine. Uh, the ship itself, turret traverse because turret traverse is terrible. Acceleration because that's always a nice thing to have in destroyers. Reduced concealment, pretty much a, a must take. And then uh, main battery reload and uh, at the cost of traverse speed. Okay, but you win some, you lose some. Um, the reload's quite nice. Consumables, I've gone for main battery reload booster over the smoke, and I've gone for sonar over the engine boost. The concept I've gone for here is um, the hunting, killing, killers idea is you try and find destroyers that are in uh, find destroyers force them to pop a smoke and then once they pop a smoke you close in with your main battery reload boost from sonar in order to spot and quickly kill the enemy destroyer that's the concept <laughs> whether it works in practice is an entirely different matter this is tier seven after all ah, i didn't realize that stack so it, it was one of those things where it's been de we debated quite frequently on the server about uh whether it did stack um but it it from what from testing stuff it does appear that it does it does appear it stacks so although it potentially feels like you might it might be a, a useless secondary skill because you're doubling up uh, they they the stacking ability does help so if you really don't want your destroyer to be dead in the water that really helps anyway we've gone and crashed ourselves into a game of capture the base on two brothers uh, enemy team, Akatsuki, Benson, Friesland, Wichita, Atlantico, Atlantico, Bismarck, Zeus, and Vanguard. So, of course, over half the enemy team is battleships. Good lord. And we have one radar cruiser, one sonar and gun destroyer, one gun destroyer, one torpedo boat. Okay, let's get moving. So, the Friesland is not really something I want to find, um, because he can beat me at my own game. Benson could be interesting. Akatsuki is basically food. Uh, the only thing the Akatsuki can really do to me is torpedo me. Because um, the, the Caprice is basically a Letera Bell, um, and um, that means that... Oh, not a Letera Bell. Le, is it Le Fantasque? Or Le, Le Fantasque? Um, but yeah, it has to have a very broad stance to get all guns on target. Yeah, I better turn the music down to 38, actually. Uh, take the Friesland, and it's uh, happy days. Oh yeah, uh, if, I, if I can kill the Friesland, yeah. Chances of me to being able to do so, <laughs> debatable. Mm, RDF is showing up the middle. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. I'm just, it's just the RDF. The RDF should not be pointing at the middle at the moment. So I, I suspect the Shiro Satsuyu is coming over here. So what I might do, I might 
potentially trade place with the Shirasatsu and use my engine boost to push over. He says, uh, I say that like I've got engine boost, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I just used my inherently fast speed uh, to get over there. Uh. Torpedo range in Caprice is pretty short. What are we looking at? 8.3. Uh, sorry, T Boy, for Friesen, uh, do you choose consumer or gum damage for slot 2? Uh, hmm. I would probably go for the concealment because um, I would almost kind of feel that the gun damage, although would be nice, um, isn't entirely necessary due to the sheer rate of fire that you can churn out. Right, here's hoping that it's not something nasty. It's a bit of smoke. Oh, sorry. I really should have thought about that. Now, this is not going to be a quick death. I've really potated it because um, I hit the reload booster and then focused on the torpedoes. Um, really not thinking. Two torpedoes in the Bismarck. Uh, I really had an absolute brain fart. <laughs> uh. So why, why did I hit the touchpad? That didn't even make any sense. That doesn't even make sense from a Helldiver's point of view. Yeah, so I got no idea why I did that. That Bismarck has taken two to be and flooded. So she actually... Um... Oh god, this is the thing. I These two battleships and two destroyers in the enemy team have basically charged up into a vicious crossfire. Bismarck's flooding. Zeton's been two thirds by the sheer amount of fire coming in. There goes the Zeton. Bismarck is burning and flooding. Kriv bought it on the other flank. Hmm. There's still all to play for. No, oh, I think we're better head back than before. Two Atlanticas on one flank is pure cheat mode. I was dev struck uh, by them by their uh, 12 kilometers a second. <laughs> hello, Spartacus. Hello, hello. Jeff, that's the problem with uh, two brothers nowadays. There's always someone who thinks they're Spartan elite and pushes the middle. <laughs> uh, let's just see what happens to this poor Friesland. <laughs> the priest is like, no, nope, I'm going. <laughs> uh, Mm. Alright, we better we better roll back to the port. Oh. Ah, there we are. Right in the back race. I mean being we've been talking about Friesland, perhaps I should play the Friesland for the first time in a very long time. God, I probably haven't played this ship since um I, 
I, I, I honestly can't remember. I've played it 12 times. No. <laughs> Absolutely far cry. What have I gone for? I've gone for speed. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Where is it? Of course. Speed and power. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, it's all about the speed on this one. Okay. God, I had now. Yeah. Hmm. It looks like I've gone for AA slots as well. That's interesting. <laughs> as no one is, not, uh, is uh, nominating, how about Duncan? Yeah, okay. I'll get Duncan out after this one. Duncan's actually quite nice. Uh, Miko Yan is a combination of Kochevoski hull uh, with three times to 180 millimeter guns. Armor um, belt is 35 millimeters. Shells have higher penetration and damage. I think it's my only concern is the pure saturation of that class of ship at that tier. Coach the base havens, Sakane, Yadachi in a division with a Atlantico and a Georgia. Then we have a uh, uh, something Italian, uh, and then a Melfi, and then a Bayern in a division with a Ganise Talents. That's a failed division. So it is a six and seven game, but we do have a tier five in the team. Then we have a Vittorio Benito, last, least, and last of all. So, we are in a Dutch ship. I don't have RDF, okay. But I have buckets of speed. <laughs> Let's see, how fast are we without that engine boost? We are... <laughs> what is my obsession with speed? What, what is it? <laughs> Why am I never happy unless my ship does 40 knots? <laughs> 42 knots base speed. Never be Malfi. We got no torpedoes. This is this is kind of depressing. No, oh, she smokes up. I don't think I can wiggle. Oh. Doesn't do anything but shatter. It's just shatters, isn't it? It's depressing.
engine boost activated. Torpedoes dead ahead. I'm not that silly. You really hoped I'd uh, turn outwards, didn't you? Mm, more torpedoes. Oh, I thought I hit reverse. Okay. Hmm, the rudder feels really fat. Uh, there we go around the back. Can these guns do anything? Is it terrible of me to kind of wish that you actually had a slower rate of fire? <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about ships with really high rates of fire, is it just feels like you can't do, when you're in a gunfight, you can't do anything else but aim. <laughs> Uh, speaking of uh, speed and power, uh, Leando Norris, a Brit racing for McLaren, uh, took home third in the Australian Grand Prix. <laughs> I was going to say, I did not know that, but I'm sure you know that I did not know that. <laughs> as I, as you probably appreciate, well, understand, I'm not very much of an avid follower of sports. Part of me thinks he went south, but part of me also has just this little concern that maybe he went north. Our team has taken the lead. That's the thing, I didn't really have much situational awareness when I was dealing with um, or engaging the Adachi. Unless it's proven otherwise, I kind of I'm concerned. I'd, unless chat has an idea, you've been spoiled. Okay, we'll go on that basis then. Let's put this in a straight line. Let's get moving. So we're forty two point one Our team has taken the base my well, base speed. What are we gonna get with the engine boost? Make sure comment now before we uh, before we see. Here we go. Forty three. Forty four.
45. Get an extra three knots out of the engine boost. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that definitely converted them to the location of the all vague area. If I can catch up with Kriv, I might lay him a smoke screen. By the time he hears this message, you should be aware. Notice that Kriv's going over here, so I'll see if I can. Unfortunately, all the speed in the world is not going to get me there in time, I think. I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we just got this cane to go hunt. That's not too bad. The speed build, the thing, the concept behind the speed build is because if you haven't got smoke and you don't have a lot of armor and HP, you speed as your armor. So I'm hoping that by just being fast, I can kind of catch people off guard um, by underleading the target and things like that. It does sometimes work, uh, especially if, if, if like, and also a faster strike range can be kind of. Um, Difficult to hit. Mid table there. Hmm. Mid, mid table, but also better than the other DDs on the team, so I won't really complain too much about that. Um, again, I am really getting the controls wrong. Uh, tier 7 British Battleship Duncan. No, 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 no. She's tier 8, isn't she? Yeah, she is. There she is. Okay, okay. Duncan is. And Crib's going to torture himself in the car, not. <laughs> oh, he managed to. 
cram three games in in about 40 minutes, which is quite good. No, but no, it's been a bit more than that, hasn't it? Has it? Okay. Yeah, seven and eight game. Domination repulsed. Enemy team, Kagero, Charles Matau, Rochester, and division of Atlantico and a Brandenburg. Then we have a Kronstadt, we have an Amagi in division with an Iowa, and then we have a Pom there. Divisions on both teams. Battleship heavy. Uh, not running Fisher on Duncan as a manager. Uh, more speed and power of Hood. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, if you wanted to eke, if you wanted to purely focus on speed, you would get more speed using um, Bruce Fraser. But the amount of speed that you would gain, like additional speed in comparison to Hood, is not is marginal. And it would obviously be at the cost of having more battleship orientated um, commander skills. So in in that uh, from that point of view, it's not quite worthwhile. Mm. I'm gonna. Yeah. Ooh, close. <laughs> So basically, I'm using a, a, a battle canal, Zerlang Hood speed build. So basically, just a pretty typical Zerlang build, Hood build, um, but the inspirations are Gepetti and Fraser. And I'm just using that speed to push out onto the flank and get those kind of crossfires in. Um, hitting the engine boost right off the start, it's always worthwhile because the engine boost does improve acceleration. So guns to the other side, because the way I want to angle. Hmm, I'm spotted. Engine boost deactivated. Enemy battleships. We've got a problem there, and the Atlantic Curse. The division, isn't it? No, it's a couple of solos. Okay, I've got three secondary gun battleships on this plane. Woody! Let's just say reinforcements couldn't arrive any sooner.
from the Atlantica. Or what? The Atlantic is actually gone. Let's go and drop off to sex base there. So we can push the cap. Problem solved, sir. Engine boost activated. I'll try and get into the middle now. And if I can, I'd like to nullify the engagement angles from the Iowa and the Amagi, so. I'm going to go close to the on the left. I hope it does it. Uh. Hmm, I think I can get away with it. So we can hold off here, get this cap, and then play it by ear. Hello, oh, sorry, thanks. Hello, there. Your hang is a great agile cruiser. Go on, there. we'll take that for a spin. I'm taking a wait and see approach to the iGen uh, cruisers. Uh, I am fully expecting to behave like your hang. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Jeff, you are right. Your hang is a very agile cruiser. That's all. <laughs> Oh. And that's the problem with Japanese light cruisers. They they weren't really um great. Um
And the only advantage is the t ironically the only advantage of the tech tree ones are probably have is the turning torpedoes. Which just I guess is a nice little gimmick. Yeah, Duncan seems to do a lot of uh, separation damage. Loads up AP, hoping I might catch something broadside, but unfortunately, um, the enemy does not seem to be um, complying. It's a shame, really. <laughs> Come on, comply. <laughs> Go broadside. Right, H here it is. No, my luck. De 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 Devil's Law. Like, a, the, something to go broadside on when I load up H here. Okay. We can be a bit braver now with the Rochester gun. I was very tempted though to, to stay behind the island. Let's swing on those rounds so we stay behind the island, but stay in range as well. <sighs> now we lost the range. Well, the Iowa's going to run out of map eventually. Victory is in sight. Yeah, I was right. Double fire as well. Damage gone, damage gone. Yeah. Surely I will probably target me next. Cheeky little kill steal at the end. <laughs> Bax is accusing me of being a chicken for playing behind an island. <laughs> uh, I won't complain about fourth though. <sighs> Interesting. Oh, right, uh, Yahagi, Yahagi. That is again another ship I haven't played in a very long time. That's because if I'm going to play a cruiser down that tier, uh, it's uh, it's not going to be Yahagi. Um, Yeah, what would what, what, Yahagi? Armor? Uh, doesn't exist. Uh, Citadel? Massively exposed. <laughs> Off to a great start. Okay. <laughs> um, I think rate of fire was really slow. Oh, turret traverse speed will be slow. Let's have a look at the overview. Big Yo torpedoes. <laughs> Narrow launch. They fix that with the turning torpedoes fast okay let's just take it out for a spin let's see i mean what's the worst that could happen <laughs> one dev strike later <laughs> uh so she's got six six inch guns she's got two torpedo launchers yeah two torpedo launchers with a really narrow angle Let's see, let's see. I, I kick my slippers off and make myself comfortable. Oh, and then the meant that I have work tomorrow. Not that I don't like my job, it's just I'd rather I prefer my weekends. Alright. <laughs> uh, Rain domination. Minakaze, Konigsberg, Aorberg, Congo. And then a division with the world's largest imagination, Julius Caesar, Julius Caesar, Julius Caesar. 
And then lastly but not least, we have a New Mexico and a Ranger, so it is a carrier game. It's me and Kripper Alpha. And the likelihood is we're going to get strong armed by the enemy team. So, um, yeah, these torpedoes better be really big yield. <laughs> So yeah, so that's the torpedo angle is really quite small. The um, the, new, the next, by well, the new tech tree that's coming, we'll have turning torpedoes. So those angles will be larger, so they'll probably be like conventional angles. What did you do to that Aoba? Poor thing. I'm only sitting there. Well, that's going to go on the island. Oh, we somehow managed to get a fire on it. Hmm. Considering the armor is non-existent, as we previously saw, I'm going to stay behind the island. <laughs> Even I am sometimes outstanded by my own genius. <laughs> Launch that flame. Looks like the enemy team's actually strong arm in the other flank. I was about to say, for some reason, even though my plane is up in the air, it still can't see over this island. <laughs> How long have they got to reload? They're nearly reloaded. Cheeky little Minikaze. Right, Crib, you distract him, I'll punch his nose in. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go pop. Um, hmm, do I do I die running away or die charging in towards the enemy? Well, oh, nothing beats the charge of the light brigade, tally ho. Let's get our guns over to the other side. He's looking at me. Oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, there we go. Go on. All right, I am so hell divered when it comes to the command wheel. Yeah, I could. You could put more effort into the rudder of this ship. I blatantly haven't. Uh, I need you in like cruise in. Its biggest problem will be their gun reload 10 to 16 seconds along the line. Most turrets are 360 degree that degree rotation, though, in compensation. Also, then, why the commander is torpedo focused, I don't know. I, th I think the reason why, perhaps, I don't know, is it is it because they want to avoid having any gun focused commander with the Japanese? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Jeff Dave, uh, not a good lobby for the Ahagi. Well, we're still alive. <laughs> uh, I really like the various units. Uh, short range guns, but otherwise, very solid all rounder. That's why I like the Yahagi uh, dodging BB sounds, yeah. <laughs> I think I think we just got kind of lucky. We only had the Congo come at us. Uh, the Aoba skirted off into the middle. Because um, the Aoba could have given us some decent problems. Um, and the Minikaze, which, um, yeah, didn't play that as well as they could have. See, I think the sister is back here, where the funnels are. This is plunging AP. Uh, one over pen, one bounce. Good lord. Uh, four bounces, two pens. The reason why I'm not, I could fire HE. Yeah, I'm gonna need to use HE until I can get more flat trajectory on my shells there. And uh, as I say that, I then get to sit there. Okay, well, we'll give AP another go. And unless Kriv wipes it off the plate, she's actually reversing. I feel like that scene in uh, Starship Troopers. It's afraid. They're afraid. <laughs> uh, that should wrap up the Ranger, unless someone else's shells beat me to it. Oh, there we go. So who's the GDC is it gonna shoot at? That's a good question. Not me, that's that's good. Oh god, we we'll wanna be on the receiving end of that. Yahagi, in light of the new uh, Japanese light cruisers coming next patch. Nice. Consider for a boat that I've only played. Oh, I've played 32 times. I've played it more than freezing. The win rate kind of shows there. Yeah, 72%. Um, yeah, just turret traverse because I know that's just horrible. Um, more, more, more you can do the ship. Commander build is the commander build which most players won't be able to ever really realize because um, she's never coming back to the game. 
um, purely because of voice acting um, and China. Let's <laughs> uh, not say much more. Anyway, um, let's see. I think it's all about reload. Yeah, reload, reload, range, fire chance, and HE shell damage, but at the cost of incoming damage, countered by incoming damage and the HP repair time. And then we've got some accuracy and shell grouping. And then some more reload and some range. Yeah. So, yeah, I've kind of not gone for any kind of maneuverability. It's all about all about the guns. Try and maximise the uh, the damage I put from them, those guns. And, yeah. Not a bad ship. The problem is, it's just when it comes to a Tier 4 cruiser, she's always right next to this ship. And this ship is a hell of a lot better. Um, just purely because... This um that that armor scheme is very survivable for the tier. Um and then she's got eight inch guns and she's got quite uh, like better torpedo angles. So yeah. This one this one's a a better cruiser than Verodaka. Um Sigmaster, uh, because they're already uh, good in that department, guns, no uh, no need to staff buff them. Uh, she just reversed, oh, I mean, uh, Krivsch, uh, she just reversed out of my short range. Uh, by the way, don't forget to level up your commander, Vukachovic, guys. Carl jo Johan uh, will be needed, will need it. Carl Johan. Is this... I, I, is this the current check? No, is that no, that's next? That's next season's ship, wasn't it? ARP uh, ha, ha, Hagaro, uh will be the commander for the light cruiser. She has a plus six percent HE penetration. Um, yeah, now that's quite possible. I mean, let's have a look. You've got Iona's cruisers. Togo is universal. Yamamoto is more about AP. Mikawa is about maneuverability. What's Takeo? Roger and AA. Gun traverse speed. Is there anything else there? No. Takeo is not interesting. Uh, Tiger is about HE and uh, damage and AP uh, and um, HE HE damage and fire chance uh, for, uh, you should say um, where is I I own that the KO did I not get her Yuga I don't think I did what about Azuma? What can, what can she offer? Fire chance. You probably put fire or fire. That's about AP. Uh, probably not worth it. Azuma? Yeah, it's a battleship related commander build entirely. I don't think I got that. That must be a recent uh, collaboration. Hmm. Uh, I agree, Crib. I already used her for my tier 6 Japanese cruisers, which is very effective. Uh, yep, uh, with Suzuya, I did 10k HE server on Minnesota. Oh, nasty. Oh, Major is missing. An anime commander. End of the wit. <laughs> I would like it to be clearly stated that I don't collect these anime commanders. Yes, I enjoy anime. Yes, I collect manga, and yes, I have a lot of figurines. But I really don't care for the commands in the game. Um, it's just a, it's from a genre that I don't really care for. Um, so that's why I've got. I, I don't have any interest in them. <laughs> so yeah, um, as someone who has interest in that area, I guess you could say I have no interest in it being in this game. Um, knowing what it is, I feel like I have that 
goddamn Japanese battleship. Oh, I don't think I do. Yeah, look, you, you can you can tell how much I played. <laughs> oh god, there's how you go. God, this looks terrible. Plays <laughs> it without a commander build. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, while we're here, there is a ship I want to play. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I haven't played this tugboat in ages. <laughs> uh, a Japanese submarine tender. For those who are interested historically, this ship was actually sunk by USS Iowa. <laughs> I've got no idea why they added it to the game. I, I'm sure they, I'm sure they only added it to the game because it was sunk by Iowa. Because I can think of no real other reason why they would add a submarine tender <laughs> into the game. She oh she might be a destroyer tender. I might be wrong. By the way, she's not actually a, supposed to be a frontline fighting vessel. She's supposed to be a, uh, a a support vessel. Uh, Langley, Wyoming, Orion, Toronto, Tenru, Tenru Clemson, Wixes. B25 and the Romulus. Let's just have a bit of fun. Oh, Jeff, I still don't have uh, the Medea. I am, it's, I am only missing her, the perfect 10 uh, to get the... Uh, or her and the perfect 10 to get the UK. Um, yeah, no, I, I haven't got the perfect 10. I didn't exactly... Uh, Oh no, there might be two. I think I'm I'm missing perfect ten and about Baltimore. Um, <laughs> remember they did a, 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 a they put a Baltimore into the uh, in in the in the uh, in the Royal Navy as a um, St Patrick's Day thing. Oh god, I, I forgot. Yeah, the top speed of this ship is less than twenty knots. <laughs> She does have torpedoes. What was the name of that Baltimore that they did for um, St. Patrick's Day? Someone will know. Celtic, that's it. Uh, I thought she was a training ship. Um, she might have been used as a training ship, but she she was like a, a tender ship. Don't know the way that destroys just disappear. Oh, this is hello. Oh, oh no! It appears we have a problem.
tip for like the torpedo launchers on the uh, on the starboard side has been um, uh, destroyed. Um, but I guess that's what I get for having this on historical voice mode. My my Japanese is nowhere <laughs> anywhere effective enough to know. Uh, well, I see how um, Crip's doing on the uh, Tartra. Just the two guns. <laughs> mm, good lord. There you go. Here comes the torps. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be the stern. Getting away with it. Meanwhile, that's got Langley. Langley. <laughs> this Langley is uh, it just going for it. Oh, nice. Uh, Orion. Yeah, I'll be an Orion. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on. We've got a Wyoming, a Ka uh, not Kansas, Kaiser, St. Louis. Okay. Let's jump all the way back over to the Tatra. Making utmost speed towards the cap. <sighs> no, you don't forget. Uh, Bird tree circle. What? What are you on? <laughs> I think Cribs lost it. <laughs> right. Well, I think that might be a wrap. And the Langley's gone and bought it. The Orion's bought it. Good lord. I've only really just popped over and the Orion's gone. Crib's gonna have a devil of the Wyoming. Oh, bird tree circle. Now I know what you're talking about, Crib. Bird tree circle in um, Hungarian sounds like a very inappropriate uh, phrase of ter uh, term of phrase. <laughs> uh. Oh, there were there was another one recently. I remember seeing. It's like something in Lithuanian or something like that. Let's uh, let's go investigate these torpedoes. Wyoming's gonna feel pretty snug. He's just dodged those torpedoes. He's gonna feel pretty pleased with himself there. However, oh no. He's gonna take two. Beepa doo boopa dee. Crib's already got the next next batch of fish on the fryer. Mm, I wanna say four. No, three. And another batch. Good lord, Crib. To think <laughs> They're able to get these torpedoes out from below decks, manhandle them around, and load them into the torpedoes, aim the torpedo launchers, and fire them off so rapidly. <laughs> the Hungarian Navy must have been filled with supermen. <laughs> oh. Must have been all built like Popeye the Sailor Man. One hand in the torpedoes. Because <laughs> oh. there is absolutely no craning facilities on this ship to have to reload those torpedoes. <laughs> oh, Kim Marcus Gaming, hello, hello. Um, I still got fed. <laughs> Oh, God, what have we done?
Right, okay, let's start playing some real tiers. Let's let's stop let's stop monkeying around at the lower ones. I just want to play the Katori because I just haven't played in so long. It used to be on my little uh, tier two go to when it came to premium supplies, and I just haven't well with premium supplies for such a long time. I mean, let's have a look at tier seven and see what we got kicking around that we might fancy. God, this is also welcome to the Major's Wall of Shame. Let's see what ships he hasn't got a commander to. <sighs> God. <laughs> Those of you have a nervous disposition, look away now. Oh, yeah, the Kirishima. <laughs> the ship they gave me before they kicked me out of the program. Why? <laughs> I didn't even want it. <laughs> uh. Alright, we play these ones a lot. God. Oh, when did I get the mains? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, sure, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I even got a camera for that one. Oh, God. This wall of shame is uh, quite shameful. Yeah, okay, right. <laughs> Hmm, yeah. What, what, what we got going on here? We got a lot of detectability, but we've also got some. Oh, we've got to go all out as well. Oh, oh, that does bring back good memories. Let's stick a camera on this. Oh look, we got a camera that we'd have to look at. That's nice. Um, let's put that on. Let's go for that. Well, you can have it from here. Okay. Yeah, let's give that a go. I haven't played this in a very long time. What? Fifty-four games. Hmm. Monarch? Yeah, we'll slip a Monarch game in then just before the end of the stream. If that's alright, Jeff. Yeah, Fiji can be a good... Uh, oh, wait. Uh, Criv, my 2 times 3 torpedo reload is 23 seconds. If I go for the 2 times 2 it's 15 seconds. 15 seconds to lift a torpedo out of the hull, <laughs> manhandle it into the torpedo launcher, <laughs> re-aim, fire the torpedo launcher, Good lord. <laughs> and how much... I did, oh god. <laughs> no, I'm just still the regular. Uh, yeah, Fiji can be a good... A good start. Can be a great start. Okay, let's see. Well... Yeah, if this is a quick game, we should be able to do a Monarch and a Fiji. That would be a nice little wrap-up to the end of the stream. Harbouring. Oh, hello. Black. Right, let's have a double. What are we looking at? Lo Yang, Sonar, Benson, uh, Bumping Italian, Fletcher, Fletcher Payer, Frischelou, Iowa, Iowa, Marlborough, Parcival. Okay. Well, you're black, you're black. Okay. Okay, this this give you an appreciation of the size of the Tashkent to the black. <laughs> uh, something Italian. Fire. It's worth firing at her, just because it's, um, I guess it's a mild nuisance to uh, actually can get a shooter. Now we're spotted, so we might as well shoot the Chapaya. I 
should be able to just bump it off the island here. Okay, all the enemy destroyers are charged in to the centre cap. Chapayev is not turned on her uh, radar. Very interesting. Um, okay, we got torpedo bombers from the enemy. Just gonna check out some torpedoes. Basically, I'm just fishing on there now. I should really turn my A on. Oh, good lord. Griff's gone. Focusing so much on the incoming fire that I kind of lost track of the torpedo uh, aircraft. Um, but we did get a torpedo into one of the enemy destroyers. Was the August one parcel? Good lord. That's going to start camo is the one uh, one pure camo in the game. Pure. штатном режиме. Again, I'm just fishing now. Fishing for a low yang. It's going to be quite awkward to engage. And so we've been a carrier game. And being that the carrier really does like to go out to destroy us. Kind of got to have my wits about me. Especially with Mongol kicking around as well. Let's cast on that again.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Z23. That's what I needed to be beached right now. <laughs> I'm glad I nixed that. <laughs> Seems you're right for sticking me on the beach. Oh. Jeff, I ran out of Bureau Projects uh, a while back and did the IGN CV. I got her on Friday, but I haven't been able to get into a game without her yet. Uh, this is the problem with them introducing um, legendary tier carriers the way they did. It just means the population just doesn't exist. Um, I, 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 it's just a bad plan. Just, uh, uh, let's, do, let's do Monarch first, uh, because... I've already played PG earlier, um, not while streaming, while I was warming up. So let's do Monarch, and then we'll do PG to end or Yeah, um, yeah, I, I played a, a very small number of games in those legendary tier carriers. I mean, we can have a look actually, can't we? Um, I basically refused to play them when they released them as a CC. I've played two games in Midway. I played one game <laughs> in Hakaru. Um, yeah. The thing is, it, the legendary tier ones are just pointless at the moment. The population is too low, and I just don't understand why they released them the way they did as bureau projects. It just doesn't make sense. And then there's only two of them as well, like so. There's not really much diversity. I mean, I'm sure you've all heard my point of view and um, about it all before, but I honestly feel they should just stop bothering with the Bureau and just put the Legendary tier on the end of the bloody tech trees. But they won't do it because the Bureau is kind of like in progress. And if they did that, what would they do with all the players who are partway through a project or started the projects or something like that? And it's just like, why not just put them on the tech end of the tech trees if someone started the started the ship say they've purchased it and if they're x amount through a ship in terms of the bureau project just say okay we're just going to say they're x amount way through the xp towards the final modification on the ship and if they've completed the bureau project in its entirety give them the ship with all the xp and the modifications on you know but no can't do that well, if they already got the ship, it doesn't matter, does it? But if they park, because they have the ship, so they just the ship's now on the end of the tech tree. The bureau was just. I can understand the point of the bureau in initially introducing the tier of the ships, you know, a few ships, but it's just got to the point now where, just stop, just just get rid of it, just put the ships on the tech tree. Maybe use the Bureau for exciting things, or different things, or limited time things, events, prizes, uh, celebrations. Just don't, don't just lock a whole tier of ship behind it. Just lazy. It's made start. It's made sense at the start. But it just doesn't make sense anymore. Oh, what are we looking at? Kagero, Caprice, Sumner, Rune, Flander, Massachusetts, Izum, Izumo, Pomner, Fruit, Frigid, something. Oh, you know she doesn't have sonar if she's got smoke. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why did it go over? Did I aim high? <laughs> I 
Aaron Jesus hits again. Maybe I aimed high. Maybe I aimed at the deck. Oh. A little bit too forward here. Oh, nice, Crib. Nice. Mm. <laughs> okay. Surprise torpedoes. Gagero or Sumner? Gagero. Okay, there's a Gagero kicking around in the area. Try, uh, try true uh, to my name in this battle. Oh, let's buff those scratches out. Forwards or backwards? Forwards or backwards? Forwards or backwards? You're going to sit still. No, just go forwards. Okay. And those torpedoes are actually on a perfect B line for me as well. Where's the Kagero spotted? You're Mishashi? No, you're looking special. I was wondering if there's someone. Not really keen on our odds here. I'm doing this, but I don't really want to. Victory is in sight. Yeah, I have to hunt you, Mike. We've sprung a leak. We're filling up fast. Oh no, no, oh, I'm sorry, the rest of the fleet's collapsed. I'd like it if the gunners could actually stop drinking and start aiming.
see. Mashashi's gone and hit my hole. We got Hayate. They got Massachusetts, Fruit of the Grocer, Pomna, and then Flander. Mm. Gonna be. Gonna be an awkward one. Not really sure which way that's gonna go. So in the meantime, we're just gonna quickly jump into a um Fiji. Fiji time. There we go. And that's all the water. So yeah, we will have to make this the last game of the stream. Resistance. Let's go. <laughs> so, capture the base, ring. I think we've played played this. But this is the third time this evening. We played this map. Mass, Emily Patin, Pensacola, Fiji, New Orleans, Prince Hydro Friedrich, Queen Elizabeth, New Mexico, Colorado, TS 5 and 6 game. Let's see, we played it in the Hagi, we played it in the Katori, played it again in the Fiji. Yeah, the, yeah, third time this evening we're playing the same map. And I've always spawned on this team. I spawned twice on this side and once on the other side. Interesting. Only one division. Only between Pensacola, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, okay. So there's a tier four in this game. And... Ah, there's Griff. We have the destroyer. All the Fiji. Yeah, we have the Fiji. Some my HP. Uh, they, they, smoke, 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 <laughs> smoke. If you got them. <laughs> oh, my poor little boat.
I'm talking about. Cheeky devil. I don't know where they got a battleship looking vaguely in that direction. At least I suspect he is. Let's have a look. Oh, I said let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, he's looking at me. <laughs> Right, let's make a move in open water. Perhaps a bit of open water will save us. Oh, it's just me. Okay. What would I do if I was New Orleans? I've got 8 inch guns, good AMP, and I can overmatch the Fiji pretty much all over. Downside Fiji has got torpedoes. I'd be very tempted to probably rush the Fiji smoke screen. AP loaded. And I'd equip my sonar shortly before making a break on the smoke screen. There we go. Yep, there's that overmatch. Let's see if I can knock his turrets up. Side is Fiji has a better rate of fire, and the Fiji's always got AP loaded, which means it's not a bit like against say some cruisers where they might have HE, they might have AP, and so sometimes you can go, oh, but I get them to use HE, and then once they use the HE, I can kite, I can kite out, knowing that they won't have AP loaded. Yeah, my saw being a a free turreted BG at tier five, um, with a very similar um, uh, consumable layout like the Perth with the crawling smoke strings, I think it's going to be quite interesting. I think on that that is literally the, the reason why I'll be logging in next update. That's all, folks. Ooh. Ten minutes till I'd normally finish streaming, but I doubt we can really cram a game in. Now we've moved the campaign along a bit. Honestly, I'm I'm not planning on doing anything with this campaign. That was a nice game. Definitely shows why the Fiji's quite a nice cruiser for her tier. Many thanks, Crib, for joining the Science Support Division. I'll uh, I'll let you go. Let's get Fiji up in the background. But yeah. Um, sorry about Mossy. Yeah, two versus six. Always exciting. Uh, die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fiji. Yeah. Don't blame me. Um, as always, 
feel free to give the stream a thumbs up and all that. Obviously, helps with promoting the stream and the channel. And considering I haven't been streaming for a couple of weeks, I probably could do with a bit of promotion. Um, but that's <laughs> that's just me being as a selfish YouTuber. Otherwise, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's coming along and everyone who's commented in the chat. And that includes uh, Creative New Type Commander, Tottenham Hotspur, Jeff Dave, I am Cesarian, Stick Master Celeb. Uh, Jeff Dave, Spartacus, Salty Sax. Ooh, trying to see if I can recognize any other names at the top of my head while I'm scrolling through. Uh, Kim Mike X Gaming as well. Yeah, so uh, a quiet Sunday evening stream. Uh, but we're 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 planning on uh, getting back into streaming again after dropping it for a little while recently. But yeah, I hope you're all well. Stay safe. Stay well. And uh, as always, I'm the Gav Major. Until next time, back to the port. Let's get the crack on out of this mode. Now. Yes. <laughs> well, pip pip and chewy. And I've got no water for the chips.